Hi, this is Sandy. I just wanted to show you a quick video about the reflective versions that we have. Um, this is Reflection Violet, number 4514. This is just the violet. I just dusted it with violet and heated it and let it cool completely. Then this is what it looks like after putting clear on top. All of the reflective coatings that we offer have a reaction when the clear goes on top. So if you do buy the um, reflective, make sure you have plenty of clear top coat. So I've got a piece of metal down here, right here. It's just one single layer of, of reflective violet, number 4514, and half of it I've coated again with the clear. So I want to show you the process and what that looks like. Get it picked up here. I've got my hot plate running at a little above medium. You can see that. And I'll zoom in so that you can see. Again, it's got this side is just the reflective violet. And then this side is reflective violet with a clear top coat. And what that top coat does is it creates a reaction. And right now it's just a real, real pale, kind of purpley violet color. But the more it melts and the more it heats, you'll see it getting deeper and deeper and darker. And the more top, clear top coat you put on it, the more reaction you're going to get and the more depth you're going to get in your finished product. It's actually going to look like it's under a layer of really thick shellac or something like that. So you can see as it turns more purple here. I could um, run this with a lid on top and it will actually react a little bit faster because it traps that heat. I do leave a little space for the airflow or what I like to do is get the lids that have the little vent hole in it so the steam can come out if there's any um, process of that. So you can see what's going on there and the longer I leave that the deeper and darker um, you're going to get. So let me take the lid off again so you can see it really clear. That's what it's starting to look like and you can't tell it on here but it gives it dimension. The color is actually on the bottom and then the clear um, gives it a deep layer effect. But you do have to use a clear top coat in order to get the reaction. If you have any questions, email us enamelit at yahoo.com. Thanks.